All right, guys, in Redfall, you know you want to have a lot of money, man. So you want that cheese, you want the bread, you want that bag. I'm rich, bitch! Check this guide out for an unlimited amount of money inside the game. It's right off rip, guys. Head on over to the Lost and Found. Get your first rewire kit. If you don't have enough for two, that's fine. You will use all the money you're about to get here shortly to get the next uh, rewire kit. First, though, bonus tip, guys, do not use the restock, man. For me, it just it doesn't make any sense. It costs $12.50. When you're playing the game, these cultists are going to drop ammo when you kill them. And I've always replenished enough ammo to make it through. It's really not a big deal. Like, I hardly ever do restock. It just costs too much, and it just costs a lot of money. Next, bonus tip number two before we get to the nitty-gritty. You can salvage these lower-level guns. These lower pistols, they're worth, like, 264. The flare guns, these, you know, like, I got a level three sniper rifle. I'm not going to keep the level one. Get rid of it. You're going to rack up on XP just by doing that. Especially with the higher level guns that you don't need. Like I got two and three swordfish or the the state launchers and all that stuff, man. I keep one or two. They're usually worth between 500 and 1,000 plus. All right, guys, here's how to get this easy, funny, early in the game, man. Might as well just take advantage right now. Just get all this good loot, get all the money. And I'm going to show you guys the map right here. We are actually going to this house right here. And this is where the big money is, guys. And I kind of found this out. You know, any kind of looter game, especially like an open world looter game, um, you know, there's going to be loot everywhere. And so I kind of just always, I'm looting. And when I found this house, I saw it was locked. And I was like, well, why would they lock a house? It wasn't nothing good in there to protect, right? So stay along this little uh, ridge line right here. Um, I've done this a few times. Sometimes there's like vampires up in there. So it's good just to stay close to this, uh, the, the right edge, the right side of this cliff. All right, so I was sitting here looting and just opening any kind of doors. I was like, well, this door is locked to this house. And some of the other doors were not locked. So basically I was like, it's gotta be something good in here. You can just come here and if you haven't already, bust this glass open. You can shoot it or do the melee and then run right through inside, jump inside. And then you might wanna take some of this loot right here for the easy pick. And that was 225 right off rip. You know, just take some of this easy stuff. There's even a lock pick in here. Just kinda of go around here real quick and just kinda of loot everything that you can see. There's even some water here for the taking. Want to come upstairs. Now there can be some zam... Uh, I'm about to say zombies. Bro, what am I tripping? Um, Vampires, man. I keep saying zombies. There could be uh, vampires in one of these rooms, so just be careful. Make sure you're reloaded. Um, grab any of this loot you can see in here. Medical supplies. Obviously, take that. Take that hydrogen. Open this door. Get you some more uh, Baylor Aid. Get this backpack. Um, this is a special weapon. It's actually worth 552. You definitely want to grab that. Um, and do like we did earlier and just salvage it and get your get your over 500 um, racks right there, right? All right, so boom. Come in this room, do the same thing. Travel bag. Boom. That's 150 right there. Too easy. And last but not least, this last door right here. Do not go in there with that. You will die. That will kill you. Um, you can hack it. Um, I don't recommend hacking these because you want to just save your hack. You can actually do something greater. Binoculars. Um, if you try to shoot it from right here, you get rid of those lasers. Um, it still will damage you. So um, I think, yeah, right here, if you open this, bust that right there. It's kind of tricky.
Yeah, it damages you, damages you a little bit, but not by much. It damages you even more if you're sitting there and doing it right inside the same room almost. So, come in here, turn on your flashlight. Found some. And boom, look at this watch. That watch is 50. That wedding ring is 50. You know what I'm saying, guys? Cologne bottle, that's 100. That perfume bottle, that's a hundy. You know, can't take these shoes. All good. They look raggedy. All good. And right here. Now, this is where that hacking kit comes in handy uh, from before. Hack that bad boy. Open that up. It's not going to open all the way. Get you that special assault rifle. That's worth 756 Definitely grab that. Actually, I equipped it, but same deal. Um, sniper rifle, you definitely want to take that. That's worth 300. Get all this cheese 50, 50, 150, 150. Ammo, all that stuff, man. Then you can actually jump up here. There's another assault rifle worth 312 racks. Grab that. Boom. Now, there you go. Now, look how much cheese I got from that. Um, 69.35. So, doing pretty good right now, guys. Doing pretty good. Actually, I like the sniper rifle, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Now, the very next thing you got to do, um, uh, which makes this an ultimate, um, unlimited amount of money, quit the game and launch the game again. I'm going to do that right now. So, we're just going to quit to the main menu right here. Um, you don't have to actually quit all the way to the desktop because that takes a second or so. Um, just quit to the main menu, guys. Alright, then boom. Come right back to where you was at. Right at the same house. As you notice, um, you gotta break the glass. Again, that's how you know it just reset. You don't actually... Oh. And there's the vampire. There we go. That was an example... That was an example of what I mentioned earlier. Sometimes you're going to find a vampire. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so it did reset. So, again, come back here. Get all that same good stuff you looted earlier. Not the really the water, the milk, whatever. Maybe that box, uh, bottle of Clorox bleach. Right? Come right back up here. Just to show you guys the damage you can take. So, you know, tomato, tomato, but regardless, flashlight again, and then get that, get that watch, get that perfume, get that ring, get that assault rifle, open that up, open that, now you got, now you got a different choice here, but again, now, this time, there's a level five sawfish. Now, keep that if you want. I'm happy with the sawfish that I have, but hey, it's still worth 1200 right? Take that. Take that handgun, 276, why not? Get all that cheese. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. There you go, guys. Too easy, right? All right, so now with all that juicy stuff we got, we're over, we was at over 6,000. Now we're over 8,000. Now what I want to do here, come here, get rid of this stuff again. Look at all we picked up. You know, look what all we picked up. Alright, so handgun. Salvage that again. Salvage that again. Salvage these two um, flare guns. Probably never going to use a freaking flare gun anyways. Um, just keep doing this. Get all this stuff out the way. The ones you don't want to keep. Keeping this, I like this one. Um, don't eat that. This is that one that was worth 1200 Boom, there you go. And then that semi-automatic, I don't care about that. And then boom. You know what I'm saying? Keep that, you know, keep a good stock of what you need. And now, there you go. 15, oh, almost 16 grand right there. Use that to get weapons, special weapons. Um, sometimes you may have to get buy a med kit if you don't find one. But a lot of times you will find med kits all over. That's why I really don't buy none. Same thing with the ammo. There you go, guys. That is the unlimited amount of bread. 
get that bag guys see you guys on the next video peace